Welcome back to Pop Politics. Before we went on a break, we were taking your feedback on the show and also sampling some of your uh, comments. And we are, you can be, get in touch with us via SMS, via Twitter. Like we told you, you can tweet me directly at Adiambo. You can tweet at Mr. Mima so that you can be heard. You can also call in live. We would like to get your comments on what your politicians are saying online and offline. Now, Mombasa governor... Joho may be out of the country, but he is still trending. Take a look at what he has been up to online, because the whole of last week he actually trended, but he is not here. So we are very concerned about the fact that he can't be out and he can still show people what he is doing. Let us see what he talked about on his Twitter handle as well as his Facebook handle. It was pretty interesting. In fact, I think the whole of last week, uh, Pocha, if I'm not wrong, uh, there was a whole hashtag. Uh, dedicated yeah, to being, him. Being in the US. Yeah. 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 There was a whole hashtag was... dedicated to him and people <laughs> were discussing quite a bit. So he did a whole tweet on uh, how we were meeting with the State Department and then there was um, there was how he is meeting everybody else. Uh, for me, this was a little bit interesting uh, given the fact that uh, how he was trending earlier was not necessarily about this. Mm -hmm. And I will start with you, Rita. What... what you know, what does that tweet want to achieve? Um, the first one about the US government, uh -huh. and then, you know, all that he's doing out there. <laughs> okay, so I'm not in Jubilee, as you must have figured. <laughs> so I don't know what Jubilee Where are you? people will say. <laughs> which, which, I don't know which side. I don't know yeah. what Jubilee people no, will say online. No. But in regards to this, uh, they're, they're full of very many fake things. But. In regards to what the governor is doing in the U.S., I find like it's a very important conversation. Uh, this is simply because radicalization is not something that you should deal with when it is happening. And when you follow what he's been addressing, <coughs> he's talking about uh, training of the imams, empowering them. Once you've been taught, see like Murkom, and once you've been taught about the scripture, you should be taught about how to interact with the community. Uh, whether it's civil education, social, you know, all those factors that come up. Because people will come to you for more than, for example, Murkomen should be trained, he's not a preacher, but he should be trained on how to get this God thing and, imply, and, and have it impact people's lives. Now, radicalization. Um, radicalization and the fact that he's speaking with imams and telling them how, what they have done in Mombasa, how they have talked to the... They're called sheikhs. The, people, the sheikhs. The sheikhs, mm. yes. Yes, yes. How they're training them uh, on how to handle the youth. I think that's a very proactive conversation, <coughs> and I really enjoy it. Uh, the issue of the previous trend, that was 36 bloggers. <laughs> <laughs> you, I don't you are, spread rumors. You, you are blaming other I people. Spread for, rumors. You are blaming other people yeah, for know. his trend. And his, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, there was the trend. Rita can the tell us how much they're paid. Yes. Ooh, the 36 yes. bloggers. <laughs> Do I even know <laughs> You know, previously, there were trending things that, you know, the, the war on drugs and the U.S. Mm. is hunt. Mm. Okay, so now that he's in the U.S., then what? Yeah. Now they need a new conversation. You know, okay. then what? Okay, Rumors Rita, you'll just hold it right there. Mm. We'll come right back to you. I hear we have a caller. He's a Kemboi from Nandi. Kemboi, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. Nataka <laughs> Iliweza kupea judiciary mamlaka ya kuamua chini sheria inaenda. Batu moana sheria ambayo walitumia kufunga madaktari sio sheria ambayo ilifa. Pili, chuzi wana wa jubili wamekuwa kilalamika ile sheria ambayo kote iliamua kwa tenda sa kuprinde and pilot paper. Wamefanya kaya hiku faji mbona? Huyo ndiyo chachi ambaye amefanya vibaya na yule amefanya vizuri. So kwetu kama wana nandi kawa ndia tijeza kufraji. Asante. Vizuri. Hmm? Asante sana. Kemboi uko na ingine ya kuongezea? Ya, yeah, nikirudi kwenye ndani kwetu sasa mali nimetoka. Kama nandi mujima, nandi muzima, ama rifti wale muzima. 
hivi kama vijana tunaendelea na maisha tunajifunia tunajifunia devolution kama matunda ya mwananchi ambaye ni kutoka Nyanza kutoka Western Central Coast na kadhalika mambo yani yote tu kwa jumla tunafanya collection ya tax kwa government irudi kwetu kwa tunapotembea kindani unapata wazee wanasema tunakamua tuko na ngombe tunakamua tuvumilie yetu ipate kusaa na hii ngombe ambayo ina saa unashindwa itasaa ikizaliwa college ni peke yao in hali maisha ya Rift Valley na Nyanza ni sawa tu ni ngombe ni wanamaanisha nini kwetu so ma- maisha ya mkenya lazima ibadilishwe mkenya afurahia matunda ya ukatuzi Mkenya ambaye kwa kona juu na kona chini wawe sawa. Sawa si Kenya wachache. Sawa sawa uh, Kemboy tumekusikiza hapa kwa studio na asante sana kwa kutupigia simu na kwa kutuangalia nyumbani katika runinga ya KTN News. Um, ha- Yesterday the communication authority will get back to what uh, to what can, can boy, the, the two things that he has just put mm. together um, but we are just moving on to the next story because it, it involves an, another legislator who's uh, an up and coming politician actually calls himself the third force um, so yesterday the communication authority dropped a bombshell we all know that yeah. that yeah. there are plans <coughs> by the government to snoop on private conversations so they soften blow by adding that it would help with insecurity and maybe only on the people that you deem suspicious. So, as usual, the third force leader Alcott led the online brigade. Actually, I think it was it was an onslaught mm-hmm. in a series of educational tweets because for yeah. me after reading most of them, mm-hmm. I actually felt I know a lot more about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so if we can just look at those tweets and uh, I know that we will be able to at least the panel will react to what Kemboy was also saying, but let's just see what uh, what he said uh, not on the IBC but on the yeah. on the communication authority drop i am told that uh, ekuru is uh, online right now hello hi adiambo hello hi hello how are you doing thank you so much for calling on pop politics on weekend express please go ahead thank you very much listen first of all before you go to discuss the communication authority of kenya i thought i should regarding security situation in kenya generally and i just have five quick issues to raise Number one, I want to educate. Hello, Number please one. go ahead. First of all, I like to educate Dennis Mutoro that there is no such thing as cattle rustling in our laws. Actually, what exists is robbery with violence. When you take away the property of a nomadic pastoralist with the guns and all that kind of thing, you are actually robbing him of that wealth. You are killing, you are maiming. So we need to change the narrative that there is nothing called robbery with violence. But I, I mean cattle rustling. But there is robbery with violence. Number two, regarding security, Kenyan wherever they may be in this country, Article Six. Article 6 of the Constitution, sub Article 3, requires that there has to be devolution of every service to every part of the Republic of, of Kenya, and that includes security itself. So the problem we have seen uh, on this issue of security is the failure of cooperation between the two levels of government, the national government and the county government at the same time. And again, Article 187 and 189 talk about how that cooperation must take place. So we've seen a complete failure, both at the national and the county level, to address this issue of security in terms of consultation and cooperation. Number three, we have seen for the last couple of years in actions or the failure of the commander-in-chief of the Republic of Kenya going after criminals who commit these atrocities. Kenyans will remember in 20, November 2014, 21 policemen were killed in a place called Capedo. I think we lost about 100 people in Wajia and Mandera and the rest. And all the commander-in-chief was told is, we killed those people thinking they are members of certain community. Now, again, that's really a very pathetic situation that seems to have just justified the, the, the failed security in the country. Number four, we are talking about failed leadership in Kenya generally. We have this problem of uh, national government clinging on to what they call the mandate of the national government, and therefore fails to transfer this power or this function service to the people at the grassroots. So, and lastly, talking about priorities in this country, and earlier on the panelists uh, were ably discussing about the doctor strike vis-a-vis a president who was dubbing. I mean, I don't know what the hell that means. But anyway, uh, listen. To, I mean, what the dub is, no, is, just get us to the point, kindly, sir. <laughs> yes, there is no news. There is, there is no news. 
by a president or leaders of the opposition going out there to call on Kenyans to go and register and take a vote when there is a national crisis such as drought, famine, healthcare crisis, and all. I think we have misplaced priorities in Kenya. Uh Thank you so much for calling in, uh, uh, Alcott, and on those very, on those very in, um, in, uh, interesting insights, uh, which we also saw on your handle and which we were going to discuss. Thank you so much. Remember, you can also call us and you can tweet at Mr. Mima at Adiambo at KTN News. And this is Sport Politics. Right back to you guys. Yes. Um, I think we, we probably need to be able to uh, realize what um, the, the first caller said. Yes. Um, and pretty quickly, if we can respond to some of the, the things he said. Kemboi, the earlier guy who called, who called us. Uh, what I can clearly recall is him saying uh, the Mwananchi needs to benefit from devolution, right? Yes. 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 Did I miss? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. That was it. <clears throat> uh, um, devolution has, has done something more than what it was before we had a devolved government, and it can do much more. Probably it's a new system and people need to be a bit more patient. Uh, there's also the issue of managing budgets between the Treasury and the devolved government. governments. So I think there's a lot of teething problems, but we shouldn't lose patience with, with yeah. the devolution process. We should also have the national government support the devolution process. Yeah. Yeah, we, should, we need to see the president, the deputy, the CSs. Um, the, the challenges we have between health, national, health, county. Security national, security, security county. county. Yes, yeah. mm. We don't need that drama. Yeah. Someone needs to get into the room, get a common goal, and see what their role is towards that common mm. goal. Yeah. That is the only way um, devolution will help because politics is equal to resources. Yeah. There's nothing else. That's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Uh, Dennis, you were corrected right there by mm -hmm. our last caller, our mm. quote, and, mm. and like we said, his tweets have been mostly educational this time, yeah. and yeah. then he took his time again to call mm. in studio mm. and, and yeah. talk to you, us. You see, when, when he says... Uh, we should not call it cattle wrestling and call it something else. You know, this is something that has been with us uh, since time immemorial. You know, even when we were growing up, you know, an act of communities going to ambush other communities to steal cows and sheep and goats. You know, you cannot call it robbery with violence. You know, it, it has a term in itself, and we've been taught in schools about, uh, a, 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 you know, certain things. So he's right uh, when he says we should term it as that. But exactly what is it? It's cattle wrestling. Okay, to get the point of uh, Kemboi, yes. I think development is all about the kind of leaders that we choose, starting from the grassroots. What kind of people do we envisage to have in the leadership positions? You know, for him to say we need to get development down into our grassroots, it can be felt at a certain point, as Rita has put it, devolution is going to take time. Mm -hmm. But for it to move so fast, you need to get the right people in those positions. Don't get the corrupt people. Don't get people who do not understand the functions that they need to play. And the president has been going around and urging people to say, don't take an MCS seat to be a sole light seat to be given to people who have not gone to school. This person has a budget. This person has functions in the county government to represent you and your interests. So it should start now as we go to an election and get the right people in those seats. For example, in uh, 2013, when people were doing the elections of the governors, they didn't know whom to we, do we pick as a governor. You know, we're they just picked time, anyone. Dennis. Yeah, we're running out of time, I'm so sorry to cut you so. short, but we're running out of time. I think we will need more time next time. I'm really glad that you joined us today. Poshia Musesia, communication specialist. Uh, Dennis Butera, who plans to run for government. Uh, an MP. Soon yes, we hope that we'll be able to see you. And Rita Oyer, who is a citizen, a mother, and a participant. <laughs> <laughs> this was Pop Culture, the segment that is going to hold our politicians accountable on what it is that they're saying online and if they're doing that offline. Uh, we are coming back after this break with news at the top of the hour. Mr. Mima is standing by. But from me, this is where I'm